guys, this is Glamazon Tay. I'm back with a new video. Um, also, with everything I have on is actually on my website. So my glasses are this Perceval Caution dress and this green jean jacket. Um, I showed you guys this a while ago, probably. So I want my watch on this side. I don't know why I even have it on this side. But um, okay, so if you guys are interested, I'm actually surprised I kind of like these glasses. I never like nerd glasses for some reason on myself. But without further ado, it's whatever. Also, I want to kind of um, I want to like. I want to get real like close okay so last time I posted a video it was a whole thing of I was putting YouTube and stuff and I did take a couple weeks to myself my mom came down here I really just got to like enjoy her presence and you know just took time to myself and like I said I'm about to turn 25 in a couple months so I just really needed a grip on who I am what I want to do and where my life was going and I felt like um I was possibly outgrowing this jacket like I'm just throwing off today okay but what I'm saying is I felt like I was possibly like outgrowing YouTube like I just felt like nothing was going right for me and I stated a couple things so for example I'm gonna really be honest and be vocal um so I really did feel like I was at a space where I wanted to quit YouTube and that's because I feel like I was putting something I was doing overdrive of everything and I was putting so much work into it but then I had to realize that I was doing quantity over quality meaning that I was pushing videos out that I feel as though were just something for people to watch but they really weren't even stuff that I was interested in like I was posting videos that I was interested in to a sense but it wasn't like my passion so from now on I feel as though I, unless I am back but I feel like um you know if I need to take another break in a couple months I'm gonna do it if I need to take another break in a couple weeks I'm gonna do it it's not I'm not putting a barrier on myself I'm not putting the stress on myself and I'm not gonna like um really overdrive myself because that's what I was doing um and I feel like I want to change. I want to do a couple different videos that I normally don't normally do on my channel. So that's what I'm going to proceed with doing. I'm going to start doing different kinds of videos on my channel. So um, this week you guys will get a lot of videos. And it will be like different kinds of stuff. Like for example I have my apartment tour coming up. I um, also have. I have a couple other videos like it's some really cool videos. That I've really kind of been wanting to record. And I was scared to record. But I was just like you know what just do it. Another thing far as with the views, um, a lot of people are like, if you love what you do, it shouldn't matter how many views you're getting. To an extent, that is true. But also, it does kind of hurt your feelings when you do something and it doesn't get the most views. But I will be honest and say that when I was looking on YouTube and just watching random videos, a lot of people was talking about their views were down. A lot of people were talking about that they weren't, um, like everything is just changed with you. Everything is just changed with YouTube. So with that being said, I wasn't really, I mean, I do love YouTube, but it's also my main career. So what I'm saying is if I'm not making views on YouTube, I'm not making money. So um, with that being said, people have to understand, yes, it is one thing when you love to do something and you still have income coming in. But if you love to do something and it's not paying the bills, you're worried about how you pay your next bill. You're worrying about that other stuff. So that was a stressor within itself on my life. Um, another, uh, one other thing I want to touch on, people was like, well, I don't really fool with you after the whole situation. If you don't know, it is what it is. But I feel like, honestly, it's nothing. That situation, it is, it's, it is what it is. It happened. Everybody out here, some people that's judging me act like they are like, holy fucking Mary and ain't never did shit in their life. I mean, if that's what you feel, that's cool. Honestly, to me, it just weeded out the people that didn't really fuck with me anyway. Everybody's human. Stuff didn't happen. I know personally YouTubers that's done worse shit. And that's not an excuse. It's not an excuse at all. But it's just like, if you don't fuck with me, just don't fuck with me. You don't have to tell me you don't fuck with me. Like, it's cool. I understand, sis. Like, I got it. Popping. It. It's fine. Like, and that's, it might seem like I'm coming off arrogant. But in a sense, I'm just like, what do people want me to do? Like, what do you want me to do? So with that, I, you know, got myself together. I dealt with that situation. My supporters that still love me. But if you don't love me anymore, you don't like me anymore, you don't want to watch me anymore, that is fine. Like, <laughs> that's okay. Like, it's okay. It's been YouTubers I watched, and I don't watch them anymore. It's been YouTubers that done stuff, and I just don't like them anymore. It's okay. Like, it's fine. That's cool. It's cool. It's no point in beating a dead horse. Like, the horse is already dead. Like, come on now. 
Another thing, I just want to let you guys know. So, a lot, I know a lot of you guys seen I've been going out recently because I am an introvert, but I've been really trying to be pulled out of my shell. So, I now have a manager. That's just really exciting. I love my manager. She's such a sweetheart. And, um, yeah, so shit is ready to get popping around here, okay? Things is ready to be changing. Like I said, I needed to take off the baggage on just myself and with me having a manager now a concrete manager contract signed everything i just feel like it's a weight lifted off my damn shoulders like y'all don't even understand like she deals with that like i just i really just i'm a content creator and i'm not doing the thing of i'm not doing everything like i was doing before everything i was Producing the videos, editing the videos, um, getting the talking to brands, discussing with brands, getting deals with brands. Then I'm over here on my store. Like it was just I had so many different hats, and honestly, I'm I'm really prepared to take the ten jobs that I have and space them out and give them to other people. So with that being said, over my two week break, I did get a manager, which I'm so excited about. I love her, and um. If you guys on my vlog, you'll most likely meet her on my vlog, definitely, of course. And another thing is, I have an assistant now. So, like I said, I'm, I got 10 hat, I got 10 jobs, y'all. <laughs> like, seriously, I have 10 jobs, and I'm just spreading my jobs out. So, I have an assistant now, I have a manager now. So, though that took, like, maybe four jobs off me alone. Like, four to five jobs, if not more off me by just having those two they really are a big help my sister she, uh, she does anything she's just sweet like she just does it what she got to do and um yeah so now i do feel less pressured also i'm not gonna pressure myself like i was before to get a video up every single day if i i'm gonna post when i just want to post like I know we have, I mean, I'm not going to say it like that. I'm kind of going to put myself on the schedule. So maybe like three days a week. But yeah. Also, um, I don't know. With me on my break, I, I feel a little, I feel better. I do have a clear understanding of everything. It doesn't have to be so stressful. I've been really praying a lot and letting go and letting God. I really haven't really been worried about nothing, really. I just kind of been letting the situation go. Um, but... Just to let you guys know, I am back. I'm back. Um, I needed that break. I didn't need that break. That's the longest break I've had since I've been a full-time YouTuber, I believe. So, that was, yeah, that's the longest time I've not posted on YouTube. I was, like, scared. I was like, what if my views go down? What if I lose subscribers? And my mom was just like, if you lose views, you lose subscribers. They wasn't down. No way. They was going to fall off. So it's better they fell off now versus later. And let me tell you something. Like, my shit is ready to be booming. We ready to be show popping. I'm ready to be, like, it's. I got a lot of great things in store. Um, I'm just really, I'm just really happy. I'm just really happy that I only needed, like, a two-week break. Like, and it wasn't, like, two months or two years or something like that, you know? But I really was thinking, like, what would my life be without YouTube? Uh, some people were saying, like, she's not going to be nothing without YouTube. Hold up. I have a degree. Let's just get that out there. I have a bachelor's degree. So it's not like I'm going to be nothing without YouTube. But I really I really did miss YouTube. I did miss YouTube. And I, I, just, I just feel like now I'm only going to tolerate YouTube and moderations and meaning when i'm it's a damn plane but when i'm ready to deal with youtube i'm gonna deal with youtube if i don't want to deal with youtube i'm not gonna deal with it so but before i was just dealing with it even if i didn't want to deal with it and i was dealing with it, what i wanted to deal with it and then it was just too much it was 100 percent too much on me but um i'll have some looks i also recorded this makeup look too so dang i'm on it today yeah i am on it today i don't know if this damn camera is in focus or not thank you guys to everyone that loves me misses me missed me um couldn't wait till i came back i'm so excited i'm back i'm happy um i just feel like i feel good like i'm just in a better space um i feel so much i have a team now so i feel way better way 100 percent better than i've been feeling and yeah i'm just like feeling so much better but i'll see you guys um most likely tomorrow 
because I do want to post this video. This is my like welcome back video, but I also want to post a video tomorrow because um, this is not like a fun video. This is just talking to you guys and letting y'all know what I'm feeling and how I'm doing. Like I said, um, I hope I didn't offend nobody with what I said. I really wasn't trying to. I'm just being 100% authentic and real. I really, it is what it is. Things happen. People grow. People need breaks. People need time to themselves. And it is what it is. But um, I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya. It's working out